Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day one of Booktubeathon. So, today is going to be one kind of hectic day. I have a pretty long day ahead of me, so I have class in like 20 minutes, so I gotta get out of the house and then uh, go from there. And then I have to do some errands with my mom, and then I will have to film a video and everything, so and get that up. So, it's gonna be kind of a busy day. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can. Um, probably once I get out of class will be more uh, more time to vlog. So but I will keep you guys posted. I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done today. Uh, just because it's going to be a really busy day. But I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys. So it's been about 5 hours since I last updated. It's currently 1.30. And I last updated around 8.30. So it's been a while. Uh, it's been a pretty busy day. I've been pretty much out of the house in the entire day. It's uh, been crazy busy. So I had class this morning like I talked about in my last update and that went from 9 o'clock to 11.30 so I had that. And now I'm out doing errands. I'm currently sitting in my car waiting for my mom to get out of the supermarket. Uh, so that's what's going on right now. And then I'm going to go home and probably film a video and get up last night. I vlogged a little bit last night so I'll probably get that up as well so you guys will have two videos going up today. Yay! Haven't done that in a while. So pretty much that's how the day's been going and then I'm probably gonna do some writing a little bit later and listen to an audiobook so I'll update you guys on that in a second. But as far as reading I've gotten done so far today I have read about another 80 or so pages in truth which i'm on page 182 so far i'm liking the book it's been pretty good i had a hard time getting into it um but i'm starting to get into it a little bit more uh, now that i'm almost halfway through the book so that's kind of how that's been going uh, as far as my audiobook i am listening to i kind of talked about this on my friday reads video last week which i'll have linked down below but i currently listen to city of ashes which is book two in the mortal instrument series by cassandra clare and i finished City of Bones last week and I wanted to get the first three books in Mortal Instruments series out of the way so I could read Clockwork Angel sometime this week because that's on my booktube on TBR. So that's what I'm listening to right now and that's about it. That's pretty much how my day has gone so far. I hope you guys have, are having a great day. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great booktube -a If you are participating, let me know in the comments down below what you are reading this week. I would love to know. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit for another update. Right, okay, so it's been about four hours since I last updated. It's now 5.30 and uh, nothing really has changed since I last updated. I read 10 more pages or so in Truth Witch and then I came home and started working on today's videos. So... My July book haul as well as my vlog from last night, which I talked about earlier. I did vlog just a tiny bit last night. Those are both up on the channel right now. I'll have them linked down below if you guys would want to check them out. So I got caught up kind of filming and editing those and then I uh, had to do some stuff for school. So I'm currently still finishing that up and I'm going to write a blog post and go from there. And then read some more for a couple hours and... We'll see where the rest of the night takes us. So that's my update. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright everybody, so I'm back with another update. It's been about three hours since I last updated. It's about 8.30 right now. And so far with my reading, I've only read 100 more pages of Truth Witch, which has put me just past the halfway mark of Truth Witch, which is pretty good. So hopefully I'll be able to finish that tonight. And that's pretty much it. I've also listened to a little bit more of my audiobook. Um, so hopefully I'll be f able to finish that in the next couple of days, but that's pretty much everything that's going on right now. Like I said, I'm hoping to finish Truth Witch by the end of the night. If not, I will finish it tomorrow. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything right now, and I will see you guys in a little bit for another update. Alright guys, I'm back with another update. It's been about an hour since I last updated, and I have finished Truth Witch. I sleep in art. I actually flew through the last couple hundred pages of this in a probably you know just over an hour so I ended up giving this a three stars I almost gave it a 3.5 but I decided to give it three um it wasn't bad it wasn't the worst thing I've ever read uh I think it was just a tiny bit overhyped in my opinion but I think I am going to continue on with the series uh so yeah I'm excited to talk more about this at the end of the week and then I think after this I'm going to pick up Animal Farm by George Orwell this is a classic it's really really short and yeah, so that's what I'm planning on reading next, so I will update you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm back for another update. It's currently just past 11 o'clock at night, 
and I just finished Animal Farm, so that's really good. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it just, it was really, really good. Really good. One of my goals for this year was to read more classics, so that's my second classic of the year, and I think this is definitely one of my all-time favorite books. This is combining two of my favorite things, which are animals and dystopian books, so really, really good. If you guys haven't checked this book out, go check it out. It's really, really good. I highly recommend it. I think I'm going to pick up 1984 by George Orwell sometime soon, because I know a lot of people have been reading that recently, so definitely going to check that out, but really good. So the next book I'm going to pick up, Four Book Toothon, I have been on a pretty big middle grade kick for the past probably six months, but mostly, like, this past month I've read, like, three Rick Riordan books, so I think that's absolutely, absolutely fabulous. One of my other goals this year was to venture out of YA more. I've definitely done that. So going back to middle grade, I have decided since I've been on such a big middle grade and mythology kick, I'm going to pick up Loki's Wolves, which is by Kale Armstrong and M.A. Marr. This is supposed to be very similar to Percy Jackson from what I'm getting uh, from the synopsis, and it has to do with Norse mythology. So I think that's really cool. I think our main character is like a descendant of uh, Thor or Loki, I believe. So I'm really excited to check this out. And this cover is really, really pretty as well. So I'm going to check that out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to update again tonight. I probably will closer to midnight. So I'll probably just check in one more time and then I will uh, check in again tomorrow. I'm going to be combining today's vlog with tomorrow's vlog. So that's kind of how it's going to work. And I will check in with you guys in just a little bit to sh tell you guys how much I have read in this book. Good morning everybody, welcome to day two of Booktubeathon. So, I have not updated you guys since last night, but quick rundown of everything that happened last night. I read about 40 pages in Loki's Wolves and then I fell asleep, so that's pretty much all that has happened. Now it is about 10.30 in the morning and me and my mom are about to head out to Barnes & Noble. And then we are going to do some other errands and we're going to get our haircuts today, so that's pretty much what's going on today. I am going to bring the book with me and try to read as much as I can whenever I have time. And I will keep you guys posted from there, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright everybody, so I am back with an update and I actually have not vlogged pretty much the entire day. I updated this morning and it's now uh, about, let me see, it's now quarter past six, so it's been a long day, so pretty much the entire day went. I went to Barnes & Noble, got a book, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, and then we went to get our haircuts, and we actually went to the library before that, so I have an entire haul coming for that, so be on the lookout for that probably sometime next week or the week after. And now I am headed out with my mom, my dad, and my dad's friend for dinner, and then we're going to go from there, but I did get some reading done. I read about 100 or 200 pages in Loki's Wolves. I'm really enjoying it so far. It is a lot like Percy Jackson, so I am really enjoying it. I think it's probably going to be at like a 4 or 4.5 star read, but I don't know yet. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Anyways, that's my update for now. I will see you guys in a little bit for another one. Alright, so I am back with another update. It's currently 10 o'clock, and I have not read too much since I last updated. I've read maybe a total of 10 more pages since I last updated, so currently on page 188 of Loki Souls and um, so far like I said it's pretty good so far I'm enjoying it a lot like Percy Jackson um, so if you guys are a fan of that series or any of Rick Jordan's books I think you would like this one um, but yeah that's pretty much all I have to update on right now it's been quite a busy day like I explained earlier I've been out of the house pretty much the entire day so not much reading done but oh well so that's all I have to update on for right now, and I will see you guys in a little bit for another one. Alright, guys, so I'm back with another update, and just now I just finished Loki's Wolves by Kayla Armstrong and M.A. Marr, and I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was so close to a 4 star read. It was really, really good. I highly recommend if you guys would like to check this book out, the best way I can describe it is Percy Jackson meets North Mythology. Very, very good if you guys are a fan of Percy Jackson or are a fan of Norse mythology. I think you would really, really like it. It is a first book and I believe a trilogy. I think I am going to continue on with the series. So that's that. I really did enjoy it. And three books done in book two with on, on day two. That's fantastic. That's half of my TBR. So I am definitely ahead of my schedule. So the next book I'm going to pick up is another middle grade. And that book is 
It was Rid of Ursi by Ursula K. Le Guin, which is another first book in a series. It's the first book in a six-book series, it seems like. I know this is kind of similar to Harry Potter, which signed me up, because anything that's similar to Harry Potter, I'm in for. So, and also this cover is absolutely stunning. So, I'm really excited to check this out. And I think I'm going to end this vlog here, you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have the last vlog I uploaded, which was Sunday night's vlog. I will link that down below, as well as any other, uh, any of the books, as well as any other videos I mentioned in these past couple of days' vlogs. And I'll also be uploading all vlogs this entire week, so be sure to stay tuned for those. I will also have all my social media linked down below. If you guys would like to be talking out on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog, they are all linked down below. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow for the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye!